Hello friends, recently after updating the Android version to Flamingo, when I imported a project, I received a strange error. Execution failed for task process debug resource. Could not isolate parameters com.android.build.gradle.internal.dependency AIR resource compiler transform. Execution failed for AAPT2 extractor. And the path is shown to dot .gradle slash caches folder. Okay, let's try running stack trace. See, this is error stack. It says file not found exception in dot .gradle slash caches folder. Okay, let's fix this error. I am going to try some possible solutions. The first one is invalidate caches. Because the error is related to Gradle cache files and the project was working fine with electric yield version, let me try invalidate cache first. Go to file, select invalidate caches. Select all of them, click on invalidate and restart. Ok, project sync is success. Now rebuild the project. Oh, the error is still exists. Ok, let's try the second solution. Here, the error is while isolating the resource parameters from .gradle slash caches folder. So, let's clear the cache files and rebuild. For that, close the Android Studio, open the terminal and run the commands to remove cache files. These commands I already used in my other video to uninstall the Android Studio. I will give them in the description box also so that you can copy paste and run them easily. Ok, I removed cache files from library and from .gradle also. Now open Android Studio. It is trying to import the project again because I removed cache files. Actually, I don't know whether these solutions work or not. I just thought about some root causes and trying out these solutions in front of you. Ok, let's wait. Import is done. Now build the project. Oh, the error still exists. Ok, let's go to the third solution. Remove projects, build and gradle files. Go to project view. Here also you have cache files and gradle files. Delete build directory and also dot gradle directory. Now clean the project and rebuild the project. Ok, it is downloading some AAPT2 build tools. Let's wait. Yes, the build is successful. This means if your project was working fine in previous Android Studio versions and not working in the latest and giving some cache related errors, you can follow this solution. Hope you could get some idea on this error by watching this video. If so, please comment, like and subscribe to Araka Tech Solutions. Thank you.